This week we are mostly virtual with meetings, classes, and a resource fair all happening online. But we can also get out of the house to get into the holiday spirit. All that and more this week in Westland. Many people and businesses have been affected by COVID-19. The Westland Library has been forced to close their doors for two weeks due to an employee testing positive for the virus. They are set to reopen on Monday, December 14th. During the closure, you will still be able to access the library's digital collections and attend their virtual programs. They are asking that you not return materials to the building during the closure. You can ignore any overdue notices that you may have received and simply return your items after they reopen on Monday. For the latest updates, follow them on Facebook or visit their website at westlandlibrary.org. One of the biggest hurdles for veterans is getting the benefits they deserve and are entitled to. So often the paperwork is difficult to understand and the application process is so complicated that many veterans just give up. As a service to help those men and women get the help they need, the Wayne County Treasurer's Office is holding their annual Veterans Resource Fair on Thursday, December 10th. This year's event will be held virtually from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and will offer assistance with health care, foreclosure prevention, employment, housing, and more. For details on how to join the virtual meeting, call 313-224-5990. Or send an email to the treasurer's office. If the events of 2020 have you a bit down and not able to get into the holiday spirit, consider taking a drive through the Wayne County Light Fest. The five mile holiday light display is sure to take your mind off of other things for a little bit while you drive down Hines and enjoy this holiday tradition. For over 20 years, thousands of people have enjoyed taking a leisurely drive through Hines to see the animated displays light up the winter nights. The Light Fest is open from 7 to 10 p.m. Wednesday through Friday and 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. You enter the Light Fest from Merriman Hollow Park on Merriman, just north of Warren Road. Since 1993, Cooking Matters has been teaching people with limited food budgets how to shop for and cook nutritional meals. Their classes and grocery store tours have helped countless families make their food dollar go further and prepare healthier meals. This Thursday, the Westland Library is presenting a virtual grocery store tour with Cooking Matters at 6 p.m. A registered dietitian will go over reading food labels, comparing prices, finding whole grain options, and the best ways to buy produce. Registration information is available on the library's calendar at westlandlibrary.org. And if you can't make Thursday's event, head over to cookingmatters.org for lots of tips and information on healthy eating and grocery budgeting. This week on WLND. Westland City Council. This meeting of the Westland City Council was recorded virtually using the Zoom meeting platform. The Westland Historical Commission has made the decision to close the Westland Historical Village Park for the remainder of 2020. If you have a specific research request or would like to purchase an item from the gift shop, they will try to assist you. The Commission will use this time to finish up some projects that were interrupted during the year due to COVID-19. If you are interested in making a purchase from the gift shop, you can send an email or conduct business through their Facebook page by searching for Westland Historic Village Park. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Be sure to come back next week to learn about our holiday decorating contest and a special coupon book to help you shop small and shop local. Thanks for watching.